Right now, there is technically only three versions of the Model 3. However, there's about to be a fourth, and then there's going to be probably three more. This will happen within the space of a few months. Now, many people are saying that this new version of the Model Y, the long range new version, is only for business customers. But clearly, that's not going to be true for very long. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to all the new subscribers. If you're new to the channel, we've done 3,000 videos over the past 24 months. So make sure you check out some of those. And by the way, if you want to hear who I am, a bit more about me, I'll put a link in the description below to the GoFundMe page that I created to support my uh, my wife's cancer fund campaign, which is pretty expensive. It's $10,000 a week. But that's the reason I'm here in Thailand. So yeah, if you want to see more about that, I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla has announced it's making a new version of the Model 3 long range. Instead of being all-wheel drive, it will simply be rear-wheel drive. This makes the most sense because really most people don't need all-wheel drive for a sedan. It's, you know, most people don't live where it snows regularly. So it makes a lot of sense. It increases the range by around 20 miles and it costs less because it's a less motor. In fact, where it's currently offered in the UK, it costs £4,000 less, which is a massive amount of money. I mean, that's about 8000 Australian dollars. It's around about $6,000 US dollar price discount. So you can imagine that a lot of consumers would be wanting to get this model. Now, right now, you can only buy this if you're a business customer, whatever that means. I'm going to guess that there's probably a way around this. Create a business, get an ABN, whatever that, whatever that needs to be forever you are. Now, Tesla technically right now has the standard range rear wheel drive Model 3. That's available pretty much all over the world now, depending on where you are, there's some slight changes, but by and large, most of the Model 3 standard range vehicles use CATL or BYD lithium ion phosphate battery cells, meaning that the Model 3 standard range no longer qualifies for the full 7,500 US dollar incentive in the US. It now qualifies for the $3,750, but every other Tesla vehicle does qualify for the full incentive. So if you think about it like that, then it kind of makes sense to stretch and get the long range all wheel drive model because that does qualify for the $7,500 incentive as does the performance all wheel drive model, which is now probably the biggest performance car bargain you can get. Unfortunately, Tesla have announced that technically at the moment, the long range version of the Model 3, which is rear wheel drive, is technically only available for business customers. I'm going to guess that's because they only have so many that they've made. Once they've made more, it will become available for everyone. I mean, Tesla are a business like anyone else. They're not going to turn you back for very long. And I'm pretty sure Tesla is aware that there'll be a significant number of people that don't want all wheel drive or just don't need it. So they prefer the extra range and the big discount. Big discount here, by the way. It's really worth considering this car. I, I would, out of the three cars that Tesla have, if I was in the market for the Model 3, this is the one that I would be going for. I mean, obviously this will be a fourth variant. Will Tesla sell it? Probably. Karen Bowen, Senior Key Account Manager at Tesla said this on LinkedIn. To accelerate the electrification of Europe's B2B fleet, we are introducing a new Model 3 variant that caters for the needs of our commercial customers. Model 3 long range rear wheel drive combines a segment leading range of 394 miles with a highest charging convenience at an entry level price point from 47,000 pounds. Now to give you an idea, that sounds expensive because it is. For some reason, due to taxes in the UK, cars are more expensive there in the mainland continent of Europe. They're always more expensive. But for example, the BYD at 03, it, it's actually really expensive. In fact, it costs more than this car right now in the UK. So it gives you an idea that EVs are pretty expensive in the UK. So this price equivalent would probably be you're looking at around 40, I would say around 42,000 euros in Germany, meaning it's a definitely good option. I mean, if you want 400 miles, nearly 400 miles of range, there's, there's no other car that I know of that's going to give you that range yet at this price point. If you can think of one, let me know in the comments because I can't. So just to confirm, this is the same car as the Tesla Model 3 long range all wheel drive. They've simply removed one motor. This would probably reduce the weight of the car 
by around 120 kilos, so probably by about 250 pounds. So you're probably wondering why the range has only increased by just over 20 miles, because it's not a big weight difference. It's probably the, the weight of just one big person. Therefore, the range doesn't change drastically. And the reason for this is because weight isn't the only thing that determines the range of a car. Aerodynamics affect the car. Wheel sizes, there's a whole range of different things. The efficiency of the motors, etc. So it's $4,000 more than the standard base range model, but it's $4,000 cheaper than the regular long range all wheel drive. So it's a big price difference. I mean, if you're looking at a, around a 4,000 US dollar discount to get the motor removed and get extra range, I reckon at least 50% of customers worldwide would go for that option. I think Tesla knows that. But they just don't have enough of them yet. They're probably going to wait and see, sell as many as they can to business customers. Once they've done that, they'll say, hey, everyone else, you can have one now too. This is sort of a way to just dip their toe in the water for the new model. Speaking of a new model, there will be a brand new Tesla Model 3. It's not a refresh. It's, you know, it's there's so many big changes to the new, new Tesla Model 3 that you couldn't possibly call it a refresh. I've done a video on all those changes. I've identified 20 different changes to the Model 3 and the Model Y that are coming soon, but the Model 3 will be first. The Model Y will probably follow around six months later. If you wanna see my video about that and you know, decide then whether or not you wanna get a Model 3 now or wait for the new version, well, watch that video. So when can you get this car? Well, businesses, meaning, I mean, if you have a small business, you can get it obviously, can get the car with deliveries set to begin in June of this year. So you're looking at probably a month and a half before you can get one of these models. Right now though, it's only on sale technically in the UK, probably because there's big incentives in the UK for electric vehicles to be purchased through businesses, meaning the car company tax is capped at 2% rather than the regular 20 to 37%, depending on the vehicle, meaning this car is actually much cheaper than those prices that I've just it's disclosed to you for business customers in the UK, they could get a massive discount, not only the 4,000 pounds. Plus, you've got the massive tax reduction as well. Businesses can claim a 100% year one deduction for the cost of their vehicle, and there's other incentives too. Now, these incentives have led to many people buying electric vehicles through businesses in the UK, and Tesla clearly plans on using this kind of loophole to dominate sales in the UK because business sales of cars in the UK are a big percentage of car sales. This is a way for Tesla to kind of come in and go, you know what, we're gonna be the best selling car in the UK. This is how we'll do it. Could Tesla potentially do this with the Model Y? Well, I don't know, but I think they should. It would be a good move. So what I wanna, what I wanna know is what are your thoughts? Would you consider one of these? Would you be wanting to pay less? Even let's say Tesla was offering this with the Model Y or the Model 3, and they said to you, you can get a discount of 4,000 pounds. So say around 6,000 US dollars to get it without the front motor, and you're going to get an extra 20 miles of range. Would you go with that? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.